Hello, hello, Taurus, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, I will be pulling hidden truth messages. This is what somebody might like to say to you. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, three messages for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. I replay our conversations over and over. So some of the some, some of these people, that's what I heard. Somebody here is going through the conversations that you and them have had and I'm hearing they just can't get over it, you know? Um we need to let each other go. Please, universal energies, one more for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Too many. Taurus, here we go. I can't stop thinking about you. So, Taurus, you must have really done a good number on this person because they, I'm hearing that they, they have a secret crush on you. You know, you may not know about this. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, and we get one message from the little black oracle deck okay um talking somebody is interesting somebody is interested somebody is interesting in you know interested in you they could be interesting period um some of you are having are gonna have to talk to somebody there's a message here that is waiting some of you could be waiting for this message to arrive um they could be calling you maybe texting you sending you an email you know all right so let's see what we have here please universal energies oh really four of pentacles holding on holding on to your money okay if for those of you that are holding on for dear life with your money and it's growing like you know dust inside of your pockets keep in mind that when um you are holding on to, the, to your money you're just telling the universe that um, you don't need any more because you already have what you need. For others of you, you could be holding on to someone. Okay, so we're going to clarify those. With the star, I feel that in the recent past, there was the decision that you need to make, you needed to make. Um, you know, with the star here, this is finally, you know, some of your wishes being fulfilled. You know, this is you talking to the universe and saying, you know, being specific on what you need. You know, I used to know somebody who used to tell me all the time, when you ask for something, ask with harmony and it will be given to you. You know, of course, it always comes with some type of work. You know, nothing is given for free in this world unless you do the work, the spiritual work. Um, you also have here the Ace of Wands. So with the Ace of Wands, this is for some of you a brand new beginning, something that you may literally be passionate about. You know, um, for some of you, you could be looking for a passionate relationship that may be coming to you. So we're going to clarify for others of you. I'm going to, I feel like you are about to take some action moving forward on something because there's a new opportunity. King of wands. I'm going to be honest with you and tell you that some of you may be holding on to somebody who is not willing to be committed. You know, and that's the worst thing when you're holding on to someone, when you're really um, wishing that things could really be different, you know, this person, let me tell you, they might be thinking about you. They might be, you know, but there was a need for you guys to not really be together, for you guys to let each other go. The Page of Swords, there was somebody here who was looking at something, looking for the truth. Some of you, you know, this person could be, I, I feel like you could be spying on this person, trying to see like what's up with them, you know, if you are not longer together. You know, with the Page of Swords, it lets me know that some of you are looking for clarity, you're looking for answers. You know, with the Seven of Pentacles, you are in a relationship or were in a relationship that wasn't going to grow any more than it already was growing. I feel that for some of you, you put the work in, you know, you watched all of your, your, you know, you watch your situation grow and you're like, what happened? It just didn't grow anymore. 
Sometimes we are meant to take somebody to a certain journey, but we are not meant to stay with them forever. And I feel that with the sword here and her taking blood out of this tree is like, what else can I give you? What else can you give me? Blood doesn't work that way. Why is the seven of, of pentacles here? Just didn't have any more growth to it, you know? Sometimes, you know, the marriage is, is number 10. And when you get to number seven and you see no more growth, you know, it's time to take control of your life with this emperor. It's time to make some decisions. For some of you, you, you could have been with a person that's um, very their way or the highway as well. You know, but with the emperor, I feel like you need to place some boundaries, put some boundaries down and say, you know what, this is what I am no longer going to do. This is, I am not going to sacrifice myself over this. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Oops. Let's see. I got one in my lap. Death. Energy. Okay. Page of Pentacles and the lovers. Okay. So you know what? Not the lovers. The two of cups. Big difference. Okay. Um, I feel like change is here. Transformation is often painful, you know, but I feel that there needs to be the death of a relationship so that you can start out something new, so that you can rebirth yourself or something new. And here you go. This is the two of cups. With the two of cups, this lets me know that some of you are looking for a soulmate. You're looking for somebody who's going to be um, more interested, interested in you. Um, I also feel that with the page of pentacles, you are willing to put the work into it. But right now you're putting in very minimal work toward this situation because you don't really know if this is going to be your forever. You know, so some of you could be in a relationship kind of spying on somebody, like I said, that's maybe not available. But there needs to be a rebirth here because there's something here that's no longer going to grow. Why is the star here? Okay, this is way too many. Why is the star here? Why is the star here for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is it here? Four of Pentacles. You get this twice. Okay, so some of you are holding on, holding on to hope, holding on to someone. This someone may be holding on to you. Take it as it fits, but there's somebody here who's simply not available. Listen, do not hold on to things that don't have a future. You know, that's how I heard it. Let's see, why is the Four of Pentacles here twice? Why is the Four of Pentacles here twice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Please, universal energies, spirit guides. Listen, if you're, if you're having to put in a lot of work and you're not seeing your growth, it's time to let it go, okay? Please, universal energies. Sometimes we work very hard for people and people don't work that hard for us. You know, um, you also have here the, the high priestess. So I feel like you need to follow your intuition. Go within. You know, I feel like there's a lot of things that you're keeping very close to your chest. I feel like there's things that you are not talking with to somebody. You know, you're kind of keeping quiet, but you know, follow that little gut inside of your soul because you know what? It will never lie to you. If you feel that you are giving too much, if you feel that you are holding on to a person that you have no future with, it is time to change that. Why is the high priestess here? Ace of Swords. It's time to see the truth on something. I feel that some of you are going to or did discover some kind of truth, you know, and you're like, you know what? I'm not really going to say anything. But at the end of the day, you know, some of you are having that clarity where you're noticing this is probably not for me. I just don't know how to get out of it. You know, listen, we don't have all the answers all the time. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please, Universal Energies. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Why is it here? Two of Pentacles. It's time for, it's time for balance. You know, it's time for balance. I feel that some of you were clear in the past about somebody probably juggling a situation. They could have had somebody else. You know, with the Keen of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles, I feel that some of you are involved with somebody 
who simply doesn't have the same plans as you. You know, maybe you're looking for something a little bit more serious and they are not. You know, they're just like having a good time. They want to have fun. You know, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Got to clarify the Two of Pentacles in the past. Please, Universal Energies. Yeah, I feel like some of you discovered. There was lies here. Okay, there's something here that was hidden. There was something here that came up. This is lying, cheating, you know. Um, so I feel like this person in the past was not really being very faithful, okay? That's, there's just no other way how to, how to say that. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords, the magician. Listen, it's time. It's time to get yourself out of this fuckery, okay? Some of you could be in a situation saying to yourself, how much more can I give? You know, with the five of, of wands, I feel that for some of you, you're fighting over something. You're feeling quite, you know, you know, you're feeling in a bad, you're feeling like you're in a bad place. You know, this is another fuckery card for me. You see, because everybody here is fighting, arguing to see who's going to win the competition. You know, with the magician, it is time to place, put things in place so that you can create a brand new life. What are you manifesting? I need to know what are you manifesting? What are you putting all of your work into? Listen, never put all your eggs in a basket until you know that you can. You know, um, why is the magician here? Magician. Some of you were waiting for a message from someone. But at the end of the day, you were like, you know what? I'm going to manifest something brand new. Let's see what we have here. Ace of Wands. I feel like some of you are going to find yourself another person to be passionate with. You know, I don't really feel... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you, this person is not going to be happy when you walk away from them. They're going to be like sticking out their tongue at you. Like, you know, but some of you are feeling a little defeated and you're like, you know what? It's time to start up a new beginning. I think wherever you've been giving your energy to, I don't really think it's the place to stay. You know, so the universe is offering you a brand new beginning here. Um, and I feel like some of you have the clarity that you need, you know. Why is the five? Here we go. Five of, of wands. I get the uh, six of wands. Beautiful energy to end the reading with. For some of you, you're going to rise like a goddess. You're going to rise like an eagle. You know, you're going to rise like the phoenix, you know, because you're going to be like, you know what, where I have been, I gave so much, you know, and this person, you know, you could have been holding on to this person for so long, but this person cheated, they fucking betrayed you, they were a liar. And you know what, at the end of the day, you will rise above everything. Okay, and they will continue to think about you. They will continue to think about this. But you know what? Some of you need to talk to this person. If you need to talk to them, go ahead and talk to them. Make your decisions, you know. Um, but I do see that you are moving away from this eventually. Why is the six of wands here? Six of wands, knight of cups. Listen, if this person comes rolling themselves back into you, okay, they're only willing to give you the minimal. They're not willing to give you what you need and what some of you deserve. Okay, so if you really want to have that conversation with somebody, you know, with the line cheating over here, I don't really think they're going to be that honest and tell you what they've been doing behind their, you know, behind your back. But you know what? At the end of the day, follow your feelings on how everything is working out for you. And that will give you the answers on what you need to do. Okay? So listen, I am going to leave this here, Torres. Thank you so much for being here and take care.